Right then, let's get this wing finished. So I'm gonna move into top view, put it into object mode, select it and then edit mesh and insert edge loop tool. And then I know I'm gonna need some towards the end to create the curvature. So that should take care of that. And I can already see that I'm gonna have some fun flattening this off. And then I think I'm gonna need Maybe one here. I think at this stage I'm just going to put them f fairly far apart so I've got enough room to sort them out. So hopefully that'll give me enough. So I've gone for one, two, three, four, five edge loops. Okay, straight into vertex mode. Let's see if I can get these leveled off. So select one row at a time. And then using the trusty old scale tool, get those to flatten out. Next row, do it again. Okay, you can get away with doing this without flattening these edges out, but it just means that if you run into any problems later, they're going to be ten times worse. Um, things are always easy to sort out when your vertices are in nice and neat rows. Okay, so there we go. That's sorted that out. So now all I need to do, as before, is trace the shape of this wing. This little bit here. I'm going to save for a step in a minute and I'm just going to sort of bodge that bit together. First of all, I just need to roughly follow this shape. So I'm not going to follow it exactly on this one uh, because I've, I've selected my faces from the front view so it will go a little bit out. So I'm just going to have to do this roughly by eye I think. So scale that one in. And then scaling a bit further, move back. Maybe I scale that one too far. Okay, next row, scaling again. And really, what I'm trying to do is just leave sort of the same sort of gap on the front so that I'm getting what I want. Well, the same size gap on the front and back. needs to be a little bit bigger. When you can't trace the lines exactly it does take a little bit longer to do. That's not bad. Okay, let's scale it in again. That's not too far away. Still a little bit too big that one. Then next, scale in even further. And move. I think I'll scale a little bit further than that just to get the edge ready. And then the final row, scale in virtually all the way. And then just from that, you might make a few changes by eye. So that it's not too bad looking. So what I'm going to do now I've done that is move back into my perspective view. I'm probably not going to be very happy with the edge of this wing, although, no, I can live with that, that's okay. So all I need to do now is select these two vertices here, if I can get hold of them. Let me try again. That one and that one, then this one underneath, and then there'll be one hiding from me just here. So those back four on top and bottom. Change back to my front view. Oh, if it'll let me. And I'm just going to use my move tool just to create that little bit of an indentation. I'm not going to go quite as far with it. Um, and then I'll just move this row in like that to make it a little more dramatic. I think that's okay. So, back to my perspective view. Back into object mode. And that's starting to look pretty much like an aeroplane. Not just any old aeroplane, a Spitfire. Okay, so, I could round this one off as well, and I should really, but um, I'm going to be lazy. I'll let you do that if you want to. 
just the same way as we do on the front wing, just a new a new edge loop to get that. Um, in the next video, we're going to smooth this off, and then we'll look at stitching it together because at the moment it's still two separate halves, and then that just leaves the nose cone to do when we're finished. Hooray! Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.